Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, and I pray and I hope that each one of you had a beautiful and a safe night's sleep last night. I doubly pray that when your eyes opened this morning, the first thing that rolled off of your lips was thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to get it right. Just in case I missed something on yesterday, you've given me another opportunity, and I thank you. You may be getting up and getting ready to prepare breakfast for your husband, for your children, or just for yourself. You may be getting up, getting ready to go to work, drop the children off to school, go to the grocery store, go to the beauty shop, just relaxing. Today is your relax day. Whatever it is, I asked you before you start your busy morning to open your ears and radiate your mind and let it flow on down to your heart and let the heart pump the word of the morning. And the word of the morning is cover, cover. You know, there's a, a commercial and it's called Cover Girl. We love to cover. We love to cover the blemishes on our skin. We love to put color on our hair to get rid of the gray. Um, we love to cover our toenails, our fingernails. We love to just cover things. Our tablecloths, we love to cover our beds. We love to cover our windows. We love to just cover everything. But this morning, there's a different cover that we're going to talk about that we need to use. And before we get into the scripture, let's define cover. To place or spread something over <clears throat> so as to protect or to conceal or to hide something. <laughs> we're good at covering to hide something. A thing which, what things do we like to cover? We like to, which cover lies and we love to cover around, dance around what is truth. You know, we want to cover that up. So cover is just to conceal something that we um that we we have we may have a birthmark we need to cover up so but let's look at what Luke says about cover <clears throat> for there is nothing covered <laughs> that shall not be revealed neither that that is hidden will stay hid. <laughs> we can't use this man-made stuff to cover up nothing. Because Luke says, that shall not be known. <laughs> that, that we're trying to cover up. Eventually, it'll get to the point we can't cover it up. What is right or what is wrong will ultimately be revealed. So what are you trying to cover this morning? The best thing to do <clears throat> is come clean. My sinuses are really messing up this morning. The best thing to do is just come clean. And you don't have to come clean with me. And I don't have to come clean with you. But we need to come clean with the Lord. We can't cover nothing with him. Therefore, Whatsoever you have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light. If I said something about you <laughs> that wasn't right, eventually it's going to be revealed. Vice versa, if you said something about me, <laughs> it's going to be revealed. You know, the scripture says, if you think that your brother or sister have an all against you, don't go to nobody. Go to them. 
and squared away with them <clears throat> shall be heard in the light. And it's amazing if you went to a gathering and they roast you at that gathering about the things that you said in darkness and done in darkness. That's going to happen one day. Wrong doctrine, which is darkness, will utterly be revealed as to what is action by the light of the word of God. I'm pretty sure that all of us have been watching the news, listening at YouTube, all of these so-called leaders are being revealed. That stuff that they've been doing is coming straight to the light. And you know what? It's best that it get cleaned up now. Then when you stand before the Lord and he says, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, I know you're not. <laughs> it's best to get it done on this side of the ground. And that which has been spoken in the ears, in the closet, shall be proclaimed up on the housetop. We can't get away. We can't get away from our wrongdoing, our wrong living, and our wrong thought patterns. See, the Pharisees plotted in secret to kill our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm. Their secrets are now known all over the world. Pick up the word. Those people that try to do something in secret, Back then, it's in history today, so it's going to be uncovered. You, I guarantee you, need not worry. And so shall all ungodliness be ultimately found out. Those that have been pretending, we're going to see, and you're going to see who has been living that righteous life, not what they pretend to live. Because, you know, I'm a firm believer that we are all actors and actresses on a stage. Now, who are we portraying on that stage? That's the key. So let us remember the last portion of the verse. And that which has been spoken in the ear, in the closet, shall be proclaimed on the housetop. The next time you want to, you know, that there's a word in the Bible that I think it starts with a G. I think it starts with a G. But the word is, the next time you want to sit down and gossip about somebody, don't think that they're not going to find out. <laughs> it's going to be revealed. And everybody's going to find out who was the gossipers, who was the liars, who was the deceivers. It's all going to be wide open one day. Please let us speak truth at all times. And the truth that we need to speak is found in the word of God. Remember, <laughs> I want you to remember this whether you believe it or not, that the song, the old account, was settled long ago. So I pray that that book that will be open one day, your account has been settled long ago. Cover, cover. And if the Lord Jesus Christ says the same, I will see you on Wednesday. Be safe. Be blessed and know Jesus Christ hears and sees all. There's nothing covered that won't be revealed one day. My sins, your sins, my thought patterns, your thought pattern. So it's best to start today. Let this be new. Don't let nobody come with you with anything except the truth.
拜。